Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Order of Battle Pacific Japan. Got myself a nice little window of time open to do some episodes. So let's go ahead and do some episodes. Uh, a couple things I'm going to do before we start off the episode. I'm going to try and get uh, at least one destroyer close to my transports. So that, uh, thanks to the Tokyo Express, we're able to do some resupplies. We'll put the midgets up up there too. Why not? Also... I need to take this guy, and I really need to make sure he's got all his life with him. Uh, otherwise, that could be disastrous. Uh, the last thing I want to do is take a look at my bombers. Now, I'm rolling torpedo dive bomber, and I don't think I need to. I think I can get away with torpedo torpedo. Um because of the torpedo bomber's glorious ability to change uh, bomb type. So let's go ahead, replace your losses, get you up, and then pull you, because you are a Kanabaku. What I want is the Kanku, right? So we'll pull you out, and then we might as well take this guy and the other torpedo bomber, pull him out, and swap that Kanko over to bombs, 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 there we go. Now, if we do wind up running into capital ships, will require being torpedoed, that's fine. We can fly on back and swap out uh, back to torpedoes without much of a concern. I guess really my biggest concern is um, fighter aircraft. One last thing, because I didn't cover everything. Uh, oh, geez. Purchase. There we go. Air I want... Recon. Recon, there we go. I want one of those guys. Purchase and deploy. Oh yeah, we'll just bring that guy back. That sounds fine to me. Uh, I think having a scout aircraft is a good idea. Uh, he's not dead anymore, he's sitting here waiting. Now I gotta find him in the list. Oh dear. Where are you? Really? But I... But I paid for him. There we go. Okay, there we go. We'll slap that guy in. Just so we've got some aerial reconnaissance and I'm not doing scouting with zeros. I don't think that would be a good idea. We can get rid of you. We can get rid of you. I think we're good and ready to start. Just to go over what we need to do. We need to take back the airfield, which is right over here. Henderson Airfield. And then relieve all the pockets. We've got three little pockets of resistance. Well, that's not a pocket of resistance. That's my secondary front line. We got a couple of infantry kicking around there. We've got a bunker, an anti-aircraft gun, and some infantry up there. We got an anti-tank and infantry there. We got to connect all those guys and kill all Raider Marines. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds intimidating. Um, I was hoping we could just land here today, gentlemen. But I guess not. Uh, what are you? Yeah, you're a destroyer. Go there. Oh, this is just... <sighs> Begin. There we go. Well, <laughs> that's off to an exciting start. The nice thing is it looks like all the surface ships are going to be attacking, so for our midget sub, which shouldn't be able to do too much damage anyway, but it should be able to do a little teensy-weensy bit of damage. Should be able to get some action involved here. So, submarines, uh, let's take a look. You've got your movement radius, which uh, obviously, or your movement abilities, which obviously depends very much so on the ship that you're in. I think midget subs are going to be the slowest moving subs you can find. Uh, so if you stay within the clear, normal-looking hexes, you stay underwater. If you go out to here, that means you're surfaced and everybody can see you. Would not recommend. Um, we're not going to bother launching a torpedo attack there. I don't think it's very useful. Okay, let's get you guys in. Let's get you positioned so that we're nicely supplied there. What are you? You're a support ship. I guess we'll send you up that way, but to be honest, I don't necessarily want to have you around here. 
Um, so let's start the sinking of the American ships. Metal. <laughs> well, we're off to a good start there. Getting rid of one plus, eh? What about in here? Still a one plus? We'll get you a teensy winty little bit closer. Just to get them big guns up in here. Uh, Alright, well, we'll get you moving close. Moving close. Get our destroyers on the go as well. I would prefer to not lose these ships for, you know, I mean, obvious reasons, right? Uh, let's take you and send you down. I'm not sure what we'll find. What do we got here? A cruiser, a Fletcher, a Fletcher. Let's take <coughs> and land both of our bombers and load them up with torpedoes. I should have had one and one is really what I should have done. In all honesty, though, with a cruiser out there, it's not a bad idea to land these guys and replace their um, bomb loads. So let's do that now. Those guys should be ready to go with torpedoes next turn. I'm not going to say that that was a poor tactical error of my choosing, because I still think it was a good idea to go out there with the dive bombers. Um, it just wasn't a good idea considering what they threw at me. Anyway, I would have done the same any day of the week. We will get the carrier a little bit closer, but I am concerned with, you know, just how much of a fleet the, uh, the Americans have. Anyway, that's enough of me putting time off into the military push here. Let's get attacking. Um, let's see, I guess we'll send you down and around do a little bit of scouting, but uh, Marines, yeah, are actually going to do fairly well there. That is an anti-aircraft gun, so we'll get you moving. Do we really need two anti-aircraft guns right next to each other? I put faith in my deployment abilities, but I don't know if that was such a good idea anymore. Can I trust what I did? Uh, we'll put you on the on the river, apparently. Go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> back to the dive bombers. As dive bombers, they would have been able to uh, more effectively assist the infantry, which is why I'm still saying I wouldn't have done anything differently. Now that I've had a chance to think about it and, you know basically protect or, or defend my actions. Uh, it looks like we've got a fair amount of money to spend. We might as well throw some cash at these guys. Uh, those guys are all looking good otherwise. Okay. Because really we want to make sure obviously we we're able to link up with them, so... Ah. Uh. A lot of in-depth analysis today, that's for sure. Uh, we're, but I think there's nothing really we want to do with them. Uh, no, 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 we'll leave them. We will leave you guys as you are. What do we got? Supply ship? Yeah, you can just do your maneuverings. And really, I mean, we can have these guys on sleep for now. Uh, no, that's not really worth it. Neither is that, but soon, Nagato, soon. You can... Oh, sure, why not? I wouldn't expect sub like or help like that from a submarine, but I guess surface ships. Yeah, let's use them to do some bombing. All right, I think that's pretty much it. So let's go on to the next turn. Really? Come on. Come on. 
You guys think you're gonna be able to pull this off? That's cute. <clears throat> I say that, um, but yeah, that tone is definitely gonna need to pull back because she be damaged, something fierce. Okay, let's get the torpedo bombers out in the air. One launch a turn, which sucks. Uh, three. Yeah, we'll go four up like that, and we've got three, three, three on the already damaged ship. Should be enough to sink it. Good. Uh, let's get you. That's not worth it. That's not really worth it. Uh, hey, hey. Let's get our battleship helping out on the landing. support ship, I guess we'll leave you like that. Now. Still nothing. I, I don't know about these midget subs. I might sell it and go for a different submarine. This does not seem like a very good ship. Uh, it's tough to say no to a 4+. plus. So, I mean, we won't. Uh, support ship. Try and get you in as close as we possibly can. Well, that's just a couple more cruisers, nothing really too concerning there. Really not much going on here either. Uh, da -da -da -da. Well, let's just keep, uh, keep pushing forward a bit, shall we? So what we can attempt to do here, uh, obviously with my little flanking force, is to just cut the city off, which is, um, I mean, now that's the plan, right? That, that's, uh, let's see, no, we'll keep moving you this way. Maybe a bit more centralized, like so, like that. That's looking oh but that yeah. Well that's fine really. I mean I don't Hmm, okay. <clears throat> Let's stop for a moment. I have ourselves a nice tasty, delicious coffee. Well a sip of coffee, not a full one. That would be insane to drink it that quickly. Do we want to move these guys further along? I think their fleet is fairly preoccupied with mine. Um, I didn't know support ships had guns. It's good to know. Huh, so if we were to try and pull up, well, I mean, try, quote unquote, we'll be able to pull off a landing here, no problem. We got 42, a little any aircraft gun, and another, hmm. Well, if we take these guys and land them here with a support ship, they not oh, hmm. hmm. I don't know. Let's at least move them up a little bit. There's no point in landing them that far back. Really. Uh, okay. So have quite a few units left to go. Ah, oh, this command range thingy. One day I'll get used to it. I probably won't. I mean, I've complained about it enough at this by this stage. I don't think I will. Snakes in the foliage. Enemy raiders and sharpshooters are operating in the mountains and jungles, harassing our forces at unexpected locations, at times and locations. Hunt them down and bring them an end to their reign of terror. These must be those marine raiders we've been hearing so much about. Please do introduce you to my 100mm artillery. 
we'll swing those guys down and around. And it really does look like we could probably... Hmm. I don't know. Getting to these guys, it's just not... Let's do a little bit of scouting if we can. Because I don't just want to have these guys sitting around not doing anything. But I guess then they're at least on the defensive, right? So... They would have had some little bonus to life. Okay, who else have we got to move? Just those guys back there, that's fine, that's fine. Sure, use your guns, why not? Zero plus, who knows? Ah, uh, oh, hello. That is actually really good for us. Is this because I upgraded all my infantry? I hope so. Alright, I think we're safe. Really, I could just put all those guys to bed, but, you know... Ah, uh, let's... yeah, that's not... Hmm. No, we'll leave it. They'll wind up getting attacked. Taking more damage. Probably, okay. There we go. Next turn. Mm, I forgot to do anything with my landing force. Whew, we should move that transport ship out of the way. Oh, that's a bit late. It was my own fault. For being stupid and putting a non-combat ship right into the middle of combat, basically. Oh, I'm hearing aircraft. Let's send you over in that direction. Loosely where we heard it. Move in, drop your torpedoes. Get launched. Okay, we are right next to it, and just zero plus? I should have gone for the bigger submarine. I know this now. Three, three plus, three plus. We should be able to sink that destroyer then. Unless we get unlucky! We didn't. Good. Okay. You definitely need to pull back. Uh, so you three have shot. You've shot. You've blown your load. Uh... Two plus, four plus. Zero. Zero. But almost dead. And, uh, I think that might be it for the Allied Naval Forces, at least for now. There's probably reinforcements that I'll have to deal with at some point. But for the most part, these guys is done. Um we should move you to a location where those guys can better protect you. That looks good. We'll take that island in no time flat now. Right, let's see. Really, I should move my truck up. That is the lesson of the day today. Let's keep moving. Beautiful. It looks like we'll be able to pull off this encirclement without too much work. Which is handy dandy fun time nice. Uh, let's see, you're just normal infantry. You are relatively well equipped or advanced or trained or however you want to look at it. Infantry. Uh, 
but we definitely need to punch through there to get any sort of headway done. So let's pull you up. Advance you guys through a little bit. Unfortunately, we're really stuck now. It's okay. Next turn, we will get the encirclement. Cut those guys off. And, uh... Start living the life we know we can lead. What are you? Wildcat. Are you gonna come down on a strafing run? I hope so. It'll be fun. Uh, let's make sure we can actually do some damage. Those are CBs, those are not the raiders we're looking for. Neither are those guys. We're definitely getting the attention of some American forces down here. Don't follow. The concern, of course, is, you know, chasing military units through the mountains isn't really good for... Um, anything, really. I mean, you don't want to... you don't want to be chasing your enemy through mountains. It doesn't sound like a good idea. No, it's not good for organization, and it's not good for, um, you know, keeping these guys fit and ready to fight. Um, I think that's it. Let's just go through, make sure nobody else can really move. I'm not. Mm, yeah, we're good. Next turn. Just live, buddy. That's all you need to do. So that is definitely the only way to finish that. Right. Okay. Torpedo bomber. I mean, that is a waste of a torpedo, so we'll pull up there. Let's get you landed, and then we'll swap you over to bombs next turn. Alright, two. Two is what we're looking for. Obviously, those ships are hitting for one. But the plan there is to just, you know, get the ships in, in range for a future hit. Sure, torpedoes, why not? Why not? Um, you are not a repair ship. No, you are, you are definitely not a repair ship. Do I not have one? Was that one that sunk? Let's check. Forces, deaths, just a flying fortress, huh? <clears throat> it's under cruiser, it's a uh, minesweeper, mine layer, healer is a support ship. What I have out here are supply ships. Ah, yes, and you can't buy supply ships, but you can buy support ships. Gotcha. All stuff I knew, of course. Okay, we will let you guys replace your losses. Aha, uh -huh. that's what I thought. So at least we're swapping over to the dive bombers on these guys, which is good. Let's swap that. And, uh, really it's pointless for that guy to even be there. I should have just sent him home and swapped them out. So, bombers, good to bring. It's helpful if, um, you're not indecisive with what it is that you're doing with them. Right. Finish those guys off, not quite. And that should get him. Uh, we will move the artillery up just a, just a touch. And let's get ourselves back a little bit. 
just to put ourselves in a better defensive position to fight off those 1942 infantrymen. Uh, what do we got here? Wildcat, Dauntless, Bomber. Out of range. Where does our range end? There. Alright. Let's see what we can see. And we'll take you. Sort of send you down a zigzaggy pattern. Uh, everybody's done their thing. You are on... So here's the other little annoying thing. Whoops, let's go back to the submarine. Is the torpedo cooldown. So obviously, uh, torpedoes need to be reloaded, that's fine. But I mean, we're looking at a, a four-turn delay for torpedoes that don't even do any damage. So, I think I should probably sell the midget sub and just get something better. Probably. Uh, I think that is it, right? Yes, because you're not getting... Yes, 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 okay. So really, I should purchase one of these guys. Purchase and deploy. Yes, just bring them back from the death. There, or the depths? That works too? Huh. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, okay, next turn. Man, five turns into it. It doesn't feel like we've made much, made much progress. Although I do suppose... Yeah, those bombers are better at that, aren't they? Several units of paratroopers have arrived from the airbase at Truck. These elite forces can be used to assist the main drive toward the airfield or to reinforce the isolated pockets by air. Ooh, I like that. And they've got a fairly decent location down here. Um, Wildcat aside. Let's not worry about the paratroopers. Let's worry about these infantry units we have to fight. And it's got him on the run. That's good. Uh, is there any way we can start pushing down? Yeah, you can take a turn. Take a knee. Uh, let's move these guys down. So now this means we absolutely have to go after the Dauntless. No, we'll go after the, the fighters. And, yeah, something tells me I should have just left those guys sitting there. Anywho, not much can be done about that now. Let's see. Yeah, those guys are definitely well defended. We should pull them back, and I'm not even going to bother moving those guys. You will come to see pretty much the same thing. We got a Willys 1917 Jeep. That's a classic. Uh, 1942 infantry, 1942 infantry. I'm kind of concerned that I've got my anti-aircraft guns way over on that side of the row. But what can you do? <clears throat> Alright, so... Yeah, we'll put you on solid ground. So we take less damage when we're attacking a jeep with tanks. I was hoping that that would, like kill them, kill them, but it doesn't appear as if that's the case. Well, kill them. Obviously not actually kill them, but, you know. <clears throat> Let's see. Put them... Really? Nothing can make it up there? That is... super annoying. Okay. Uh, infantry can go like that. We'll put our engineers here, although really it's the town we want to get those engineers into. And nothing more than that. You guys need to come back. Because we're looking fairly damaged. Uh, like so, like so. Through the jungle. Hurt your... Things. Organization. Hurt your things. There we go. Okay, we can finally start getting everybody fluidly moving now. Everybody here has done their job. Uh, except you guys, which yes, you can you can have a turn resting. Fine, we'll do it. What's the damage? Two, two. 
Uh, I didn't look. I was too busy watching my tank get hit with grenades. Oh well. Okay, let's see. I think we're pretty much in the clear as far as enemy ships go. So come on back. We'll get our bomber up in the air, like so. And you can land, and then you can swap over to bombs. Ah, well, that's poor planning on my part. But that's okay. Um, two. Wow, okay. Uh, we don't need that. Because... We've got other ships in range. But I wouldn't mind getting the battleships up to start assisting... Oh, that's... Where my stupid submarine is. Get out of the way. Send you guys sort of out into a wider patrol pattern. Bomber, other bomber, already swapped, already swapped. Ah, yeah. You're about ready to die. So let's get you guys back and let's get you up and start attacking this bunker. We're gonna have that island in no time flat. <clears throat> That's it. That is it. Okay. No aircraft up here yet either. I like it. Yeah. That's it. Uh, and you know what? I think I'll leave the turn here for or the turn. The episode here for now. So, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.